How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another fighting game lecture. In this lecture, we're going to be setting up our game event, which is our main game event that our game layout uses. If I go to my game layout here and we check what event sheet it's calling from, it's going to be calling from our game event. Now, here's the best part about the game event. If you're using the free edition, you can do this as well. The only thing you don't have access to is the subfolders, which make the organization a lot better, but you're not really going to miss out that much. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add an event. We can double click and we're gonna say system start of layout. Now on the start of layout, we're not gonna be adding any actions yet, but what we are going to be doing is we're going to be hitting G. So we're gonna select this entire uh, event here from the margin, I'm gonna hit G, and that's going to bring up the add new group window. And I'm gonna add three groups. I'm gonna add my game group, and then I'm gonna do it again. And if I did it over here and I hit G, it's going to make a nest, and we don't want that just yet. So what I'm going to do is hit G again here. I'm gonna say I want my player group, and I'm gonna hit G one more time and add my enemy group. Cool. Now I'm gonna put my start of layout on the top here because that's where I like to put that. And we're gonna actually come back to that altogether. So don't worry about that. But what we are going to do is we're going to continue with our subgroups here. So if you recall from our event structure here in our event sheets, we have our player structure really, really, you know, detailed and organized and planned out and ready to go. So we're going to actually just do that same thing. But to actually mimic this, we're going to import them backwards. So with the player group selected, I'm going to hit G on the keyboard and I'm going to type in states. Or actually, you know what? I always do that. I need to make this player states because we need to clearly define what this is because the enemy is going to have its own state, but they can't have the same name because that's just not how groups work. You can't have a group with the same name. So what we're going to do next is we're going to hit G again. And then the next one is going to be our input. And yes, we could call that player input, but nothing else is taking over for input. So it doesn't matter there. We're going to call this our controllers. And then I'm going to hit G one more time and we're going to add our camera. There we go. So we've mimicked our event sheet organization here and we are going to be including that specific event sheet. So for example, when we have a keyboard event and our gamepad event, they're gonna go into this sub folder. Okay, so that's our player. Let's go to our enemy and let's hit G and let's make our enemy states. And that's pretty much all we need for our enemy because our enemy isn't that complicated compared to our player since we're actually controlling all of these, whereas the computer is controlling this. Okay, I think we are pretty much good to go here. We're gonna add to all of these groups as we go along. The only thing I wanna do here is I wanna edit this and I wanna give it a description to say what it includes. For example, this is going to include the camera, the player health, or we could just call it health, the death, the states such as move, what else are we doing? Or, or we can call this walk, idle, attack, combo one, and combo two. And that way you just know what is going on in that group and what that group is supposed to be including. The next thing is for our enemy, we can just say that this is going to include main enemy state. And our game is going to include collision debug event and probably some other things that we'll add later on. But that is it for our game event. It is going to be extremely important coming up in the next few lectures. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.